Hey folks, it's James. It's day six of the 12 days of SketchUp for iPad. And if there's one thing I dislike about building a 3D model on the small iPad screen, it's that it can be so confusing and you can waste so much time trying to juggle the plans and elevations you've had to import to build the 3D model, especially if you've brought them all in on just one sheet. But fear not, in this episode, I'm gonna show you the ultimate trick for organizing your SketchUp for iPad workspace so you never lose track of the drawings you need and they're always in the best position to work on. Now that we have our plan scaled up, we don't wanna to continue to use the Orbit tool and the move tool to try and, and get the right view. It is much easier to go ahead and set up at least the, the four or five basic views we'll need in the scenes tab. So I'll go to the scenes tab now and under the standard views drop down menu, I'll tap here and I'll go to plan view. And now if I do use the move tool to bring it back, you'll see that I am, I'll use the magnifying glass to show you this a little more dramatically. You'll see that we are directly over the top of the plan. So we're looking absolutely flat down on the plan. And this is where we want to be. But there's another, another mode that you can choose here to make it even more completely two-dimensional. You can see here that this blue axis is rushing off at a perspective angle. So if I go to the camera view and I tap parallel projection, watch what happens to this blue axis here, okay? It goes truly directly over. There's no more third dimension at all. It's just completely flat 2D. And this is really the ideal mode for when you're working with dimensions later on and building these individual elevations. So I'm gonna go a step beyond that and I'm actually going to set it up. You've got my magnifying glass here. I'm going to set it up so that each of these elevations is right in the center of the screen to make it as easy as possible to work on, okay? And of course, I'm going to be in conflict with these scenes and tags, tabs over here in a little bit. So there's no perfect answer, answer to this. But I'll, I'll try and get about there. And now I'll go back into that Scenes tab, and I will go to My Scenes, and I will tap Add a Scene. And that's creating a thumbnail, and I need to name that. So I'll tap again, and there you see the scene name. And of course I can tap the small gray X next to it. And then I will take advantage of the Apple Pencil and write in the North Elevation. And this is kind of a remarkable thing. You have to write pretty clearly for it to happen that way. But I'm getting used to it, and you will too. And now I'll tap OK. So I've got my North Elevation. Now let's move that model. We'll go to the Move tool. And let's do the same for the South Elevation. So now I'll tap on the add a scene icon here and the thumbnail is generated. Then all I have to do is tap in this scene area here and I can tap the gray X box and now I can write in south elevation. All the more remarkable because I'm using the script and it does a very good job of recognizing that. And let's just finish up quickly. We'll use the Move tool again. We're already there. And we'll just make sure we can come back to this view of these two elevations at the touch of a button. So I'll add another scene here. And I will tap on Scene 3. I'll tap on the X. And I will call it the East and west elevations. And there's that. And now I have the three critical scenes that I'll need to quickly navigate around this model and not waste a lot of time with the orbiting and the move tool. 
To go deeper and really master SketchUp for iPad, remember to check out the online courses I offer at the link in the description below. To keep learning how SketchUp for iPad takes your iPad drawing to the next level, tap on this image and I will see you in the next lesson.